everybody, it is your boy, Lord Radicate, and we are back for a kind of an update video, a cool one though, this is more like a pickup video, I should say, and we got something insane, okay? <laughs> um, I know I said I was going to upload the Vintage Zard video next, the uh, four Vintage Zards I got from my trade with my friend, but that video is being held off a little bit for this one because this was just whack. It was crazy. Um, so I wanted to fill you guys in on this. So, so I made a few sales this week too, by the way. I sold some Funko Pops, a pretty good amount of Funko Pops. It was like a lot of 51 Funko Pops and like a uh, Monopoly, Pokemon Monopoly, Johto Edition board game sealed with some damage on the box, of course. Um, but... Together, I got $605 off of that sale. Then I made a trade with my friend again, the same friend I got the Zards from. I gave him, I have like, let me think, I have my Switch Lite, my Zashi and Zamazenta Switch Lite, and I have my Switch OLED, and then my Launch Switch, and then I had the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Switch. So I traded that Switch complete in box for, I had three cards, and those three cards were um, near mint, and they're worth 50 to 60 a piece. And then I also received $160, and I traded two really beat up um, hollow cards, which I'll mention here. I'll insert their pictures. I got these from the store that I'll be mentioning very shortly. It was a base set hollow Zapdos and a um, rocket, rocket, nope, fossil hollow Zapdos. Both of them were pretty beat up. I'd say they're heavily played. Um, and he gave me two really great cards for that in that trade. So yeah, overall 160 bucks. $150 in cards plus two other really good cards. I think it was a pretty good trade for a Switch that I had not used in over two years. Uh, so yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And let's just jump into these cards that I got here. I'm just gonna grab oh, my big top loader binder and we're just gonna pull these out as we go. Now, there may be a couple spoiler uh, spoilers in here for trades I did. But uh, let's just pull out some of the cards I purchased. Now, where did I go to purchase these cards? Okay, I know I've been going on like crazy. Coliseum of Comics, I don't know if you guys have heard of them. They're a pretty decent sized chain, I think. I know there's quite a few of them in Florida. Um, they get singles, they get booster boxes, you know, your stereotypical card shop mixed with a comic shop. It's pretty cool, they do like tournaments there. Um, but we got some we got some heat. So I went in a week prior, got some top loaders, and they had a Gengar level X, which I was gonna purchase it, but then I was like, it's 30 bucks and it's pretty rough. And I know I've seen them pretty recently for 25 in the same condition, so I'm like, you know, I might as well wait on a Gengar. I went back, it was sold, of course it would be, because people want it. You don't usually run across older cards. And we <laughs> guys ran across like old cards and I you never see these in there so the first card I picked up this was $65 for this one we have ourselves a oh let me see if I can hold that right base set hollow blastoise oh my god look at the blastoise he's beautiful and this one was um moderately played as you can see from the top but overall it's not bad it's not bad uh, and I might as well spoil it now in the trade video. It's not the most exciting part of the trade video. Obviously, the Zards are, but this is not my. For it, this is not my first base set Hollow Blastoise. The other one I have, though, for my friend, is uh, Near Mint. So yeah, so we got the two base set Hollow Blastoises, and then comes the expensive card. Might as well pull it out here. So, if you guys are familiar, this is what a base set hollow Venusaur, if I can get it closer, closer, I'm messing up here, hollow Venusaur looks like. Pretty good looking card. And then this was $100, but it was worth it. I swear it was worth it. It really was. Oh my gosh. This is a base set hollow shadowless Venusaur at Coliseum of Comics. It was $100, and I'll hold them both up so you can see the differences between them. Um, oh my gosh, I was wicked, I can hold these horribly. I was wicked excited to get this for uh, $100. 
which honestly isn't too bad. Uh, I did look into it a little bit. It's just a certain um, part of time where the sets were printed a little differently. I think it was like Waves, um, I want to say it was like 4 through 7 or something of the original series when they were printed. And they eventually changed it to what we know a uh, regular base set as. But, um, yeah, so, oh my god, the Shadowless Venusaur is insane. If you guys want to see why they call them Shadowless, if you look at the border here on the base set one, which is this one, sorry, um, I'm looking at this backwards on the screen, this one, um, has a shadow, let me put this down, on the border, right, uh, oh my god, everything is backwards for me, so hold on a second, right, oh my gosh, right here, on the edge, you can see kind of a shadow coming off right there, you see that? Yeah, and then if you look at this bad boy, non-existent. There is no shadow. Also, there's many other differences other than that, but that is why they are called shadowless. Uh, you know, all the color schemes different, different like pigmentations, saturations. Gorgeous card. Um, it is uh, moderately played, I would say. My friend thinks it's more towards light play, but either way, pretty solid card to add to the collection. This is one of my dream cards, by the way, so I was ecstatic to get this. Um, let's see what else. Oh, yes, 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 the cards from the Switch trade. Yeah, look at those out. I was very excited to get these, too. Uh, there's a little bit of a theme going on here, you guys will probably notice. Dropping my Game Boy games, very nice. I have a bunch of games on my desk that I've not organized yet. All right, guys, and the last three cards, which are insane, we have the XY, um, let me see here, like that, yeah, XY promo um, Charizard Full Art, which looks sick, I love this card, um, let's look at the back, oh, you can't get better than this, near mint, near mint, that's what we like to see, and then we got, oh my god, this one. Blastoise! Ah! I love the Blastoise full art as well. And again, we're talking near mint. There's like one little teeny, teeny little white scuff there. But other than that, it's pretty solid. These are other particles you're seeing are dust. There you go. They wiped off. <laughs> and then... Oh, it might be my favorite, actually, the three. I'm not even going to lie. It's the Venusaur. I love this pose. <laughs> He's so happy. I don't know. It's so cute. I like that a lot. And the Scyther down there. It's very nice. Um, again, it is pretty good shape. Let me look this off. There we go. Pretty good shape. Near mint. Very happy to add it to the collection. Uh, I'm trying to think, did I add anything else? Let me flip through really quick. That, none of those were added. I want to say that was it for recent additions to the collection. Uh, flipping through. Yeah, the other ones are from that previous trade video, which I have to edit. I have not edited it yet. It is recorded, um, but I do have to edit it. And I edited it into two parts because I actually did meet up with him very recently after that video went up. Or not even went up. Well, after I filmed the first one, I met up with him again, did another trade. And yeah, that's why I waited again because I'm like, you know what? I might as well just fuse these two videos into one video. So that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a big trade video. Um... But yeah, so I'm very excited for you guys to see that. And then, one more thing. One more thing! Uh, if you guys have not seen Jackie Chan Adventures, go watch it. Uh, we got some good deals here on some Paldea. We got, at GameStop, they are now including Paldea on the buy to get one free. So I bought all the packs they had to open on the channel. They only had 18 packs, sadly. I would have bought more, but it was 55 bucks in my $5 off coupon for 18 packs, which is usually like $90. Um, and they also gave me both promos. I already have the LeChonk, but now I have another LeChonk, and I have the Tinkaton. Yeah, so we got them both. Very nice. And then, I'm gonna put these on to these ones. Oh yeah, I went to Target. Sorry, I'm like zooming in on my face. Look at my face! Look at it! Alright, we have a triple blister uh, with the Varum, and we have another triple blister with the Tinka Tink. And then we grabbed one of these little tins with Fuecoco if I could speak, Fuecoco on it, because he's my boy. And then 
some Zard sleeves just for more common pulls like hollows or like EXs, stuff like that. Nothing I'm going to top load. I strictly top load in penny sleeves. And speaking of penny sleeves, we got a thousand penny sleeves from Walmart. And that's where I got these Charizard sleeves if you guys are interested. Like Walmart's, all my Walmarts near me always have them. Um, anything else? Am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, and I just grabbed these two really quick. Pack of top loaders, 50 pack, Target, I think it's like 11 bucks. Um, if you go, I went to my card shop, it's where, uh, Coliseum, they sell them for $5.99 for 25 so it's the same deal, pretty much. But you got Ultra Pro Premium, I've been using these quite a bit. Either way, Card Guard is actually really solid, too. I can't really, I didn't really notice much of a difference between the two. I'm, like, blinding you guys there, sheesh. But, yeah, so, overall, I'd say there's not much of a difference, uh, quality-wise. So, either one you can get your hands on if you want to top load. And, top load binder... <laughs> This is a top loading binder right here. So um, what you do, it's big enough. I can probably leave a link to this in the uh, description if you guys are interested, or I'll leave a link in the next video. Uh, let me see. So let me grab like the base sets really quick just to show you the Blastoise is. Yeah. So you just take it Blastoise, slide Homeboy in if he wants to go in. There's Homeboy number one, and there's Homeboy number two, just like that. There you go. <laughs> uh, I also have another one of these dedicated to just my black and white EXs, full art secret rares, stuff like that. And they actually come in two colors. It's, um, it's uh, black and white, or just black with a green zipper. And the company is Fun Guys, and it has a little mushroom dude on it. <laughs> but yeah, Fun Guys is the brand, so you can probably type that into Amazon. It's where I bought this, and it'll pop up. But I will leave a link in a future video. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I'm putting these back. <laughs> um, soon there will be a couple of videos out where it's going to be the Vintage Zard video that you guys have been waiting for, and I do apologize. I've been meaning to upload that one. But so many things have been happening, and I've been busy with school, but now I'm done with that class, and I'm in a much easier session of courses so I should have more time and it's a really fun course I'm in right now it's called uh, uh what is it inner discover your inner fish it's really fun um fun enough it's evolution based oh my god I even wrote in my introduction post I'm like you know what I have a YouTube channel when I do Pokemon openings and Pokemon has evolution so it kind of ties in here <laughs> trying to tie in Pokemon wherever I can but anyway thank you all so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribing would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and another thing to mention before I go, that Coridon and Maridon tin video, as 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 I have checked, it has like 1,200 views on it. Thank you all so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, it's it's incredible. I never thought I would get that many views on a video. <laughs> um, yeah, it means the world to me. So if any of you guys from that video are watching and subscribed, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And hitting that bell, you'll know when I upload. There's plenty of really cool videos coming out. Uh, yeah, Vintage Charizard video would be really cool. Uh, we have the Paldea videos, the Scarlet and Violet Part 2 and 3. I have not uploaded those yet. Oh my god, so many tins and random boxes I've cracked open in the past that I have not uploaded yet, and I need to upload them. So yeah, those will be uploaded. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.